guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing a review on this hair that i have in right now the hair is from supernova hair store they sent me the curly lace print wig the density is 180 and the length was 18 inches i believe and i got it in the medium cap size so obviously the hair didn't come like this i went out of my way and i bleached it and i dyed it myself um, I didn't want to like show the whole process of me like dyeing it, but I did have like a little bit like snippets of it. So when the hair came, it came plucked, pre-plucked definitely. Um, I always go in and over pluck just because I bleached the knots because it's a must. At first I bleached the hair with Dirty Ball and Developer and bleach. I didn't want the hair to be damaged like because everyone knows that if you bleach hair, you're inevitably gonna damage the hair but I just wanted ginger curly hair because I didn't want to do it on straight hair I feel like if you bleach and dye straight hair it's less noticeable it's like more dryish but like if you bleach and dye like curly hair the curls will loosen up so if you're trying to do this hairstyle just know that you're gonna get you're gonna get um loose curls if you have tight curls. If you have a problem with that, I probably wouldn't dye this hair. So I I bleached the hair and then I went back to touch up like some patches of like darkness that I may have missed the first round, but I didn't like re-bleach the whole hair like twice. I just went in and got the, the parts that I missed. And then I went in with some Arctic Fox, Arctic Fox hair color and I got orange and I got sunset orange and I just mixed these two together and when I tell you guys this is exactly the hair color that I was trying to achieve like I, I honestly didn't know if it was gonna come out just because I didn't know how light I was supposed to go but I didn't want to like like severely damage the hair so I'm so like surprised and also happy that it turned out like this the wig fit my head basically perfectly i only had to cut a little bit on the sides and if if the hair is like if the lace is purple that's because or like a weird color that's because the the dye kind of tainted it and i try to like darken it with my tint spray which is like a diy tint spray so it's like it, it wasn't my perfect match so if this is looking a little bit wonky that's on that's my bad not the hair company um surprisingly the hair did not shed as much as i thought it was going to be just because curly hair it tends to shed more than like straight hair in my opinion and also i did go in and bleach the hair which breaks the hair sometimes but honestly it didn't shed as much as i thought it was going to be it was very minimum so I'm really glad about that and the hair doesn't feel like super like dried out and damaged. I only, I deep conditioned it for like a couple hours after I dyed it. But I'm sure if I get like a treatment mask or something, the curls might come back to life later on. <laughs> um, I honestly can see myself wearing this hair for a long period of time. Usually when I dye hair, I usually fry it, I can't lie. I, I want to say the only con about this hair is probably that when I was bleaching the knots, actually no, this is not even a con, I'm just let you guys know that I ran out of developer at the last minute and I had to go back to my 20 developer and I was using 30 at first so it wasn't lightening as much as I thought it was going to be. Well, it wasn't lightening as much as it could have been. So that's also my bad on my part because I'm too lazy to go to the beauty supply and get some more, you know, developer. But otherwise, I'm really glad on how it turned out. When the hair came, it didn't come in like, you know, like when you get hair from like hair companies and it comes like in this like manufactured curl type thingy and then you have to like wash it to figure out what the real curl type is well, when i unbox this hair it kind of felt like like naturalish like it didn't have that forced curl look it, it kind of came looking like normal curly hair so i was surprised to see that because i usually never see that i saw some like lighter hairs in there so i was afraid that maybe it was you know colored before they sent it to me but I sent, I, they sent it to me and it was very easy to bleach. 
I honestly didn't have any problems with this wig and that's very surprising to say because I usually can find the issues so that's that's all otherwise like I definitely could have done better with the baby hairs definitely but that's just me is that the police that's just me needing to work on you know my skill a little bit more this is what the hair looks like on both sides it's kind of still wet because I try to wet it to show the real pattern because while I was doing it, it was kind of like brushed out and stuff. So this is the natural pattern. It, I do have product in it. Um, I put some gel in there and I put some curling mousse in there, but that's all I have in here. And this is what it looks like on the side. And this is what the back looks like. So yeah, that's, that's it for my review. I think I will give this wig a 10 out of 10. It's really cute and I honestly have no issues. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.